Hey guys and welcome to the 8th video of this little series. Today we will take a look at what exchanges are or what is a crypto exchange. Okay, then let's fucking get right into it. A crypto exchange is a platform for buying and selling cryptocurrencies. In addition to trading services, crypto exchanges also offer price discovery through trading activity as well as storage for crypto. Before crypto exchanges, people were only able to acquire crypto through mining or by organizing transactions in various online and offline forums. So what are there or what types of crypto exchanges do exist? Some crypto exchanges offer a variety of products and services, while others exist purely for buying and selling digital assets. You should consider your individual financial goals and risk tolerance when making decisions about which exchange to use. Brokers. Some traditional securities brokers, though not pure crypto exchanges, can act as intermediaries between the cryptocurrency markets and investors who want to buy and sell digital assets. Brokers are the worst crypto exchanges because you do not have any type of access to your crypto and you can't even transfer it somewhere else. Then traditional crypto exchanges. These platforms facilitate the buying and selling of digital assets based on daily market prices. They often charge fees for transactions. Some exchanges deal only in cryptocurrency. Others allow users to trade fiat currencies like the US dollar for cryptocurrencies like BTC. Then centralized cryptocurrency exchanges. A centralized cryptocurrency exchange is overseen by a third party called an exchange operator which helps to ensure that customers sign up and trading runs smoothly. These platforms make it quick and easy to link your bank account or debit card to buy crypto. For example, Coinbase. And then DEXs, decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges, blockchain and cryptocurrency were designed with the belief that currency should not require a central authority to oversee its movement and usage. A decentralized crypto exchange or DEX lacks third-party oversight, is open source and depends on peer-to-peer -peer trading. For example, Uniswap is a DEX, um, one inch swap is a DEX and there are many more out there. Uniswap is the most known. How does an exchange even function? Crypto exchanges match buyers with sellers. As with a traditional bank account, if you want to buy and sell on most crypto exchanges, you first need to register. Once you complete the KYC process and have been authenticated, your account is opened and you can transfer funds, fiat or digital currency onto the platform, which you can then use to make purchases. So what to consider by choosing a crypto exchange? A following statement. The deposit and withdrawal limits, the fees for it, buying and also withdrawal fees, payment methods, regional restrictions and regulations, the reputation and also the verification requirements. These are some basic things to consider. Now a little bit more of a deep dive. What to look for in an exchange. Accessibility. Your location may prevent you from buying and selling crypto on certain exchanges due to state or national regulations. Some countries like China have banned citizens from accessing crypto exchanges at all. If you are in the US, you still have a little bit of a different, how should I say it, regulation behind centralized exchanges or exchanges at all. For example, FTX has its partner for FTX US, which is only for the United States. The security measurements. Cryptocurrency isn't backed by any central institution and your cryptocurrency holdings aren't protected the same way as money in the bank or traditional investments. Some exchanges like Coinbase or and Gemini keep any balances in US dollars you hold with them in FDIC insured bank accounts. But FDIC insurance doesn't apply to cryptocurrency balances. To protect your crypto, some exchanges have insurance policies to protect the digital currencies users hold within the exchange from hacking or fraud. Coinbase, for example, has an insurance policy worth 255 million. That means if Coinbase's reserves were hacked and any amount of crypto up to 255 million was taken, account holders would be protected. This is quite nice for Coinbase. On other exchanges, it is a little bit differently. Then consider also fees. Fees are another thing to consider, but don't necessarily let a high fee structure turn you off an exchange. The easier they make it for you to buy it, the higher the fee that you're going to be paying, says Spencer Montgomery, founder of Uinta Crypto Consulting, a program for new investors to learn about crypto. 
the liquidity. If you plan to buy, sell or trade your crypto, the exchange you choose should have enough trade volume to ensure your holdings are relatively liquid, meaning you can sell them when you want. Liquidity is for example great at FTX, Binance, Coinbase and also Crypto.com. The coins offer. The variety of coins which you can buy. Not every exchange offers each of the thousands of cryptocurrencies that exist. A large variety of coins do have Binance and Qcoin. These are one of the best to buy to buy from. Yeah. Educational tools. A big priority for crypto beginners when it comes to choosing an exchange is the opportunity to learn more about different coins. Digital assets and blockchain technology, says Ross. Storage. Storage can be a divisive topic among cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Many believe in the not your keys, not your coins, best phrase to learn and also implement it. Adage. Or the belief that you should hold the public and private keys associated with the crypto holdings yourself rather than keeping them within your account for the exchange to custody. Think about it, if, there, if your keys are not in your possession, then you also do not have full access to it and you can also lose it through a third party whilst you're not even owning them completely. They're only displayed in your account, for example in the Binance account, whereas there you're owning them as spot, but they're not completely safe because you do not have the key for it, aka you have not complete 100% access to these funds. For example, if the withdrawals are stopped, then you cannot access them. So these were the things about the exchanges and now to the exchanges which I use the most, which are Binance is absolutely strong, has a beautiful variety of coins and also is the largest centralized exchange with which there is. I can absolutely recommend Binance, quite nice, only my opinion though. FTX is also strong, especially since they're since they've been growing a lot over the last two years and FTX is also growing and growing and growing. Also a nice variety of coins. Crypto.com is also sick because of the fees which they have. They're also on a minimum and not to forget the variety of coins is also totally acceptable. And now if you think about Qcoin, Qcoin is one of the best place to buy some altcoins. They have almost everything. Also a nice exchange. Could Probably only maybe my opinion so after bear market. It's not completely sure Still you, we haven't heard anything or not as much about Qcoin than some other exchanges as well as not something negative about Qcoin Which is a positive sign because if you do not hear something everything is running smoothly These were the things about what is an exchange if you think the video was useful to you and you've learned something new today Then please leave a like subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you will not miss anything in the future. We'll see us in the next video. Have a wonderful day and then stay safe out there. Peace guys.